Hello friend, welcome back. In your previous video, I have discussed about what is MBC. That means the model view controller, right? And also the Laravel is the MBC pattern, one of the framework. Like if you want to find out that model view and the controller, see so in our directory here, you can see that is in our app, in the app that is our all that model. So I will show you how can create that model in particular that area. So all that model you will get that things on here and the view is for the view all that file. You have to go to the resources folder and into the resources here you can see that is actually the view. So all that our view file will be saved in particular that area. So I will also show you and the controller uh, that means if you go to that HTTP and there is our controllers. So all that controller will be saved in particular that area. So step by step for creating that code application, we will use it. So it should be very much clear to you. So now first of all for our project, for our project I want to create one of that table. So there have the, some of the by default table I have already migrated, right? So how can do that work? I think it's very much clear to you. So now I want to do, I want to create another table for our project. So how can create another table in this video? I will show you that things with the live example. So for creating that table, you have to do, you have to migration it. So if you go to that Laravel official website, so that right now we don't need this. So if you go to that Laravel official website and search with that migration, and that is actually the migration. So step by step, I will show you all that process, like that is uh, migration. So that is, you can see that is actually the PHP addition make migration and also there is a php addition make migration the table so now i want to create one of the tables so for now i just simply copy it so there is a migration and now go to our project directory so right now we don't need this i just remove all the things from here okay so i just simply remove it i have already created that connection so it's perfect so i just make the things as a clean so now go to our project directory and now open our terminal. I just click on the CMD and now here I simply define as a PHP artisan make migration and the create user table. So now I want to do, I want to create one of the table as a products. Okay, I just define as a products and also here I define that name. I just define that name as a products. So here I just simply define that PHP artisan make migration, the create products table, and now I want to create one of the table as a products, okay? So now I just simply click on the enter. Now you can see our migration table is created. So now our next step is that find out that specific file. That means the create product table, right? So now go to your project directory, then go to the database, and into the database, you can see there is a migration folder. And into the migration folder, I have created another one. So you can see that is a create product table. So now just simply open it. And here you can see that is our table as a products table. So now for this table, I want to do, I want to define some of the field. Okay, so whatever the field you want to create, you can define that field in particular that area. So right now I just better copy because I want to define some of the field for our project. Like first of all, I want to define one of the ID. Okay, so here I just simply define that ID. Sorry, I just simply define that ID and then I also want to define another table. So I define another table field as a product name. Okay, product underscore name. And also I define another field. I just define another field as a product code. Okay, product underscore code. And then I just define another one as a details. Okay, I just define another field as a details and also I want to upload some of the images. So for the images, I define as a logo. Okay, or product logo, whatever you want. So right now I just define as a logo and then there is an ID. So I don't, I don't need this. So here I want to define some of the field as an ID, the product name field, the product code field, the details and then our logo. Okay, perfect. So that is the table I want to create with this all that our field and now we have to define that field type. So here there is an ID will be as a ID. So that means here I define as a ID and then for this one I just define as a string. Okay, I just define as a string. So for the product name I just define as a string. For the product code I also define as a string. The details is string and the logo I just define as a string. Perfect. So now we have to do, we have to save it. So I just click on the save all. Okay. I just click on the save all and now I want to migrate it. 
so now if you migrate it this system will create one of the table in our database okay that means i have already created one of the database so that is our pro for so it will be created one of the table in particular that area with all that our field so here i define some of the field now let's check this out i just click on the save all and now i want to define as a php artisan migrate so i just simply define as a php artisan migrate now if we don't click on the enter now you can see our migration table is created so now if you go here and now if you click on the refresh and here you can see there is another table is added as a product so now if you open that products and for the products table i have defined some of the field as a product name there is a product code the details and the logo so everything here i defining it you can see there is all that our field the product name the product code details and the logo so we successfully create our table with all that our field so as i told you we will create one of the code application that means how can read all the data from the database how can insert data into the database how can update data into the database and also how can delete data from the database so step by step we will cover each and everything with a live example so we have created our table and all that our field so in our next video i want to do i want to create one of the controller for our this project and also i want to create one of the model so how can create the controller and how can create the model in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video